here we are. Vegas is doing it right now. Vegas rules. <laughs> yeah, easy, Love buddy, it. easy. We're going to start. Thank you. Guys, uh, I'll kick you out, I swear. <laughs> I heard this crazy rumor, you know, everybody's got like a oh uh, story about being in Vegas and going nuts. I heard yeah. this rumor that you were once in Vegas and got really drunk and and then like married Dennis Rodman. <laughs> Pretty close. Is that true? I wasn't drunk. I wish I, wish I would have been because then I would have had a good excuse. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, we did. What you happened? Know, we did what any two people in love would do in Vegas. So, you know? That's I mean. a load of <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm kidding. Oh, um, Carson. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. You know, it's, it's just like, for me, I had gone through such a tough year. I lost my mom right. to cancer, and my sister died within a week. And, you know, Dennis, to me, had such a free lifestyle, right. you know? Like, I was working so much, there was so much structure to my life, that I was just like, God, I'm so attracted to this person that has no responsibilities. Right. He just has fun all the time. And when I would go to Chicago and hang out with him, we would just have fun. It was just a lot of fun. And so, you know, it, when he proposed to me, it was I thought it was sincere. And I was, you know, at the time, serious about it. But it right. didn't work. So I don't suggest it. Yeah, <laughs> it's Vegas, here. too. Vegas has a like, very seductive like, town. Yeah, do it the right way. You know, have a right. big wedding and have your family there. It's better. Right, good. You going to do that soon? I'm engaged, yeah, yeah so. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So. Why don't you <laughs> tell everybody the date? <laughs> we, <laughs> we haven't set the date yet, yeah. so, yeah. Dave has played in this very room, I'm sure. Yes. Um, let me roll down this clip, speaking of music, because I know you're a, a musical gal and always have yeah. been. I love this music that you do. Watch this clip here. Five, nine, gotta make you mine. You got me jumping, baby, a little high. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I do, I do. By the way, let me just say, there was a lot more to that, but all the girls got naked. It was a Playboy video, I think. Yeah, it was a Playboy video, but I wouldn't get naked in it. But all, the other, did, all did. the other girls did. Yeah, 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 yeah. We had to start up there. I was reading the Blender magazine that had you picked like the ten, uh, your ten favorite albums of mm -hmm. all time in it. And I was thinking how upset David Hasselhoff must be that you didn't select him. <laughs> Did he call you and say, like, what the no, hell? I don't really know him that well. I just, I worked one season on Baywatch, and so, you know, I, we worked together, and that was it. So I don't think he would get his feelings hurt. What was he like to work with on a set? Did he hit on you girls constantly? Not at all. He, he has a wife and kids, and his kids would be on the set, so it wasn't That's like disgusting. That. I don't want to hear anything about that. <laughs> the Neptunes could not make Hasselhoff sound cool. That's a, he's, <laughs> he's huge in Germany. The Neptunes. Yeah, so, uh, by the way. Tell me about the... Uh, battle Robots, or the Battle Bots. Yes, show. I'm hosting Battle Bots on right. Comedy Central, and at first I had no idea what it was, you know, I'm like, these two robots get together in a ring, it just right. sounded weird, and um, so I called my dad, and it's actually his favorite show, so I decided to do it for my dad. But now I love it, like, the more you get into it, the more you watch it, it's good. And the robots, they, they, they fight each other, and is that the deal? Yeah, they're, they're, these guys like spend their entire lives in the garages building these robots right. Nerds. and it's their life yeah <laughs> it's their entire lives and they and they you know have a remote control and they they drive the robots and they fight and it's those cool. nerds it's must really hit cool. on you constantly during that show you know what they actually didn't they were just like cool guys they're so into their robots they don't care about anything else <laughs> yeah, I'm sure, yeah. <laughs> and their computers and everything right, else right, right. i saw this great picture of you and this this adorable little kid we have that still we need to show this real fast <laughs> That's Vern Choi's mini me. Yeah. He looks like a cabbage patch kid. <laughs> Come, look how you're holding him like he's about to urinate, like a little kid. Oh. You hold a baby out, like, oh. You know what? You guys are friends, I know. Yeah, and we're, so am I we're friends, him. and he's such a good sport. He is. You know, and like, I, I didn't, I should have asked, but I didn't ask. I, I, it was just a spontaneous thing, and I just picked him up. But I think you it, can't help it. You have to. How can you talk to him? He's so cute. You know, he's so sweet. He is. So I did. You know. It's funny. We make jokes about Vernon. He actually is a very cool guy. He gets more play in Hollywood than anybody. I know. He's like at the Playboy Mansion. He's, yeah, with you all see him out chicks. all the time. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, do you go to strip clubs here in Vegas? I have. Yeah. 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 It's fun. It's popular it's now part for, of being in for Vegas, girls yeah. to go to strip clubs. It's much more acceptable than it ever has been. Absolutely. Do we have you to thank for that? <laughs> Not in a, like a raunchy sort of way, but just sort of a fun way of going out. Like in L.A., what's the strip club now? 
Um, There's one there that everybody just goes out. I've never gone just to, to any in LA out. actually, but I have gone to um, Paradise and OGs here in Vegas. Yeah. And um, it's fun. I mean, it's just a nice, fun place to hang out. I don't know. Do you gamble when you're here too? I don't gamble. At all? No. Why? Not at all. I'm just not into it. No? It's not my thing. Have you ever? Not really. Really? You I'd rather go Vegas. shopping. I'd rather just keep my money right. and. That's like a woman. That's what us girls gambling. like to do. You know, let the guy stay and lose his money and be like depressed that night and we'll go shop. Um, <laughs> I have read that one of your fantasies is to be a dominatrix. Well, actually, um... <laughs> is that true or no? I was able to sort of you were in the play movie. that out in a movie, yeah, with Kristen Dunst called Get Over It. And it was so much fun because I got to dress up in the whole costume and I have a little whip and, and I, got, I got a little carried away. A little whip. Do you have your whip here? I did bring one. <laughs> Do we have Where it? Where is it? Where's, um, we have a member of our staff who um, just wants to get whipped by you. This was... Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Ryan. Ryan, hang on. Where's the cover to it? It's like a foul bush kid. Go ahead, and Ryan, this get This was actually with. a gift from Dave. Yeah, I'm sure it was. Right out of the All coffin right. and the whip. How hard can I hit it? That's all right. Yeah, hard. Let's just see how long he sits there. Maybe it'll be a good time. Thank you, Ryan. You're a good sport there. Hey.